Dr. Marjan Asefi said, can we ever overstate the importance of healthcare security in our modern times? Picture this, a bustling hospital in the heart of a major city, doctors, nurses, and staff tirelessly working around the clock, caring for patients, managing medical records, and coordinating care. But lurking beneath this flurry of activity is a silent, invisible threat, cybercrime. Take the case of the renowned Banner Health. In the summer of 2016, this healthcare giant fell victim to a massive cyber attack. Hackers gained unauthorized access to the records of more than 3 million patients. Personal information, health histories, even financial data, all exposed. A chilling reminder of the vulnerability of healthcare systems worldwide. But how did this happen? A simple phishing email was all it took. One unsuspecting employer clicked it on a malicious link and the hackers were in. They had breached the fortress and the rest, as they say, is history. This incident underscores the critical need for robust, foolproof security measures in healthcare. It's not just about protecting sensitive patient data. Dr. Asefi added, it's about preserving the trust that patients place in healthcare institutions. It's about ensuring business continuity and maintaining the integrity of healthcare services. So what are some of the ways we can secure healthcare? First, it's crucial to create a culture of security awareness. This involves regular training sessions for all staff members, teaching them about the latest cyber threats and how to avoid them. Remember the Banner Health incident? A single click on a malicious link caused it. Comprehensive security training can prevent such mishaps. Second, healthcare institutions should invest in advanced cybersecurity technology. This includes firewalls, intrusion detection systems, and encryption tools. These technologies can help detect and prevent security breaches, protecting sensitive patient data from falling into the wrong hands. Third, healthcare providers must implement strict access controls. Not every staff member needs access to all patient data. By limiting access to sensitive information, healthcare institutions can significantly reduce the risk of data breaches. Lastly, it's essential to have a robust incident response plan in place. When a security breach occurs, quick action can limit the damage and protect patients' data. In summary, securing healthcare in modern times involves more than just installing the latest cybersecurity software. It requires a comprehensive approach that includes creating a culture of security, awareness, investing in advanced cybersecurity technology, implementing strict access controls, and developing a robust incident response plan. The Banner Health cyber attack of 2016 serves as a stark reminder of the potential consequences of inadequate healthcare security, but it also provides valuable lessons on how to prevent such incidents in the future. So let's not wait for another cyber attack to happen. Dr. Asefi mentioned, let's take proactive steps to secure our healthcare systems. Remember, in the world of healthcare, security is not just an option, it's a necessity. 